Am I the only one that when Vi talked about that moment when you come home and you're like, ah, that that, in my mind, that's the moment you take your bra off too? <laughs> That's why I'm so excited to be here, because I knew this room would get it. <laughs> all right. And you all are here to be challenged, too, right? I suspect you wouldn't be here if you weren't. Um, because what I'm going to talk about is a, is a weighty topic. It is a heavy topic. But I think often the media insult women um, by suggesting that they don't want to tackle heavy topics. And I'm not here to insult you. So if you can just give me a few minutes of your time, you will understand where I am going with this. But it's calling on men that we know, men in our lives who are not abusers, to check themselves on the way they talk about women. That's an important part of this. From street harassment, to financial control, to victim blaming, to other tactics of domination, how men engage with each other on those issues matters. My voice matters and your voice matters. If it didn't, would the NFL, the commissioner, Roger Goodell, have responded to the huge blowback to former, now former, Baltimore Ravens running back, Ray Rice, getting a two-game suspension, two, for that tape? The reason they did something is because we're all mad about it. Our voice matters. Before I joined Men Stopping Violence, I was one of those people who said, how does she end up like that? All of us in this room, we are strong, determined, focused women. We may ask that question sometimes too, not realizing that it, it could be you and not realizing all that that implies. So I just wanna suggest a few different questions to ask. Why does he choose to abuse her? And it is a choice. Why doesn't he leave? And how does our community contribute to an environment that allows abuse to happen? So you're saying that women in bathing suits and a racy Rihanna video are an excuse for a man to hit a woman? I mean, really, cover yourselves, ladies, please. There is a conversation to be had about the objectification of women and girls in media, absolutely. But to imply that how we dress is tied to domestic violence is irresponsible. And we owed our viewers and we owe women more. The work of ending domestic violence and changing the conversation, of forcing a change to the conversation, cannot only be the work of survivors any more than the work of ending racism is the, the work of people of color, or ending sexism is our responsibility. It just doesn't work that way.